Oh, what is up fam? So we are here in Melbourne. Oh, got my sunnies on my head. Uh, we're gonna be visiting the uh, local shops out here in Melbourne, sneak shops. And I'm here with my mate, Ron Busy. What to do, baby. So Ron's actually really excited because he got a new camera, so. <laughs> A7C, baby. Yeah, he's got the beast happening, so. So we're gonna go check out all the kind of stores out here in Melbourne, uh, see how they are, how they've been affected and all that kind of stuff. And to kind of give you guys uh, a little bit of uh, another glimpse of how sneaker stores or which sneaker stores to go to when you're in Melbourne come 2020. So let's get it. What's up guys? So the first spot we're going to go check out is probably um, Nike out in Melbourne Central. They usually have pretty good releases there with everything so let's go check it out. What's up guys? So we're at the Nike store now so we're just going to have a quick look. The what? Yo, so we out here in Foot Locker uh, in QV. It's been a while since I've been here, since uh, we had the pop-up store uh, for the Bobo Central, but it looks like it's gone way better with everything. It's sick. They even got these mad, like, mask pop down there. That's pretty really sick. So, let's go check out some of these sneakers, shall we? So, I don't know if you guys have seen the new the Air Jordan 35. These ones. Me, personally, I'm not a big fan of this one, but I am personally a big fan of the actual sneaker. Just not this colorway. One. I've been wanting to get a pair of like basketball shoes and uh, I think this is probably the next best one that I wanted to get, the Giannis. Clean colorway and uh, you know he's the MVP so it's got to be good right? <laughs> so just like the Travis Scott, it's got a weed stash thing but then when you look at it here, it's actually <laughs> So my man here, Ryan says that he's never had any Adidas shoes. Nah man, all. NMDs, Ultra Boost, nah. That's um, crazy. Nike, uh, Fly Knit Racer, Triple yeah. Black, that's where it's at. Or we need to give him that Yeezy, man. We need to get him Yeezy. Yeah, well, <laughs> I keep Yeezy copying L's, bro. <laughs> I gotta admit, with, when it comes to the Ultra Boost, um, I think they've played it out, especially with all the different colors. I think they're just really just trying to mass produce as many different colors as they can so they can just get, make as much money as they can with it. I could probably say these are pretty nice. Good for like a budget kind of stuff, so clean, simple. It's only 150 bucks too, man, so this is a good, definitely a good choice to go to. <laughs> Here at Hype now, check out some of the shoes. And I gotta admit, like, New Balance is on a new wave, man, so I'm trying to get this guy to get on it too. We'll see, we'll see. I'm telling Mark, he has to be about that RM William life, man. Australian leather. Australian owned again, by the way. Aussie, 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 man. Fire. This is like the next wave, I reckon. Outdoor, waterproof, very, very good for outdoors. So if you're going camping, check out these. So this is some of the 4Ds that have come out before. Uh, I'm still yet to cop one. I don't know, I just, uh, I love the technology, but the price tags like make me think twice. Yo, what is up guys? So we are at Secret Sneaker Store. Edwin, one of the heads of Secret Secret Store, isn't here at the moment. That's cool, it's probably busy. But yeah, Secret Secret Store is a good place to go and check out for some of your hype items. They got Fear of God here, all down there. They got a massive Jordan wall over here. They got the Yeezys all there, and they got the skateboards. So they have their own merch collection too, Secret Secret Store. Pretty cool. So if you're looking for you know, some hype items, definitely check out Secret Sneaker Store. Yo, what is up? So we are here at the Adidas store. You know, if you want some good classics and stuff, definitely check it out. Such as these. Here at the Adidas. What's your name, bro? Again? Abs, bro. Abs. I got abs. No, I don't. Know. <laughs> I got. I got. We got ab. <laughs> up guys so I'm at this new or I don't know this is the first time I've been here it's a new uh, consignment store out in Melbourne no no Melbourne it's in Caporium 
It's called Step Over, and they've got a pretty impressive like lineup here. Check it out, guys. Yeah, hey, what's up, guys? So another good place to check out in Melbourne is Sneaker Boy. We're not allowed to film inside, but yeah, they definitely have some pretty good releases, especially on release day. So go check them out. Hey, tell us that sneakers you got on, Jason. Oh wait. <laughs> Yo, I'm taking a run down a sketchy street so I can do stuff there. <laughs> now actually we're up down the alley for up there store, which is a good place to get some ACG stuff, so check it out. Up there store is there, but they're closed. Alright. Which sucks. Because they got some pretty good stuff here. Alright, yeah, so oh, well. up there store is here. And it's closed down there. Okay, so since no one's here, I can speak a little bit more. <laughs> but basically, so up there store is closed. Now we're going to go to Kicks TW. Probably one of my favorite stores because I know the people there. And they got great service, so let's go. Yeah. Let's go inside. Oh, the Kicks TW is this is like three flights of stairs you have to climb up. <laughs> All good exercise. Yo, so what's up? So we are at Kicks TW. Let's look at this wall, guys. So as you can see behind me is the Yeezy wall and behind me here they got the Jordan wall or well, everything else. <laughs> what is up guys? So this is literally the first time I've seen the Air Jordan 5 off-white. I gotta say that in person they look a whole lot better. Uh, the materials that look, you know, I don't know, they look almost synthetic, almost plastic in a way. And uh, but it looks pretty cool. The uh, but the gum sole is kind of worrying me, as you can see behind there, right there. It looks a lot more yellow, or piss yellow, you know, probably talking about. A lot more than what I see in the photos, but it's a definitely a six shoe. I don't know if you guys could see. This one is a uh, size 10 and a half for $1,200, which is, you know, I, I would have thought it would be a lot more expensive considering it's being an off-white shoe, so check it out, guys. If you guys don't know, Ron rides a bike. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and I ride a bike, so we're gonna get on this bike. Yeah, I'm telling you to get on this one. I have a new bike. It's actually on the bike. Vroom vroom. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm here with the crew at Kicks TW and I'm just gonna ask them how has COVID-19 affected like Kicks TW and how have they kind of just rebounded back? I mean, we, we did good online. We made sure we were busy online. We made sure we had mystery boxes and stuff that kept people sort of you know, on our website. Um, but now that we're finally reopened, we sort of um, got a lot more loiterers because people just want to like come out and about. <laughs> no, man, we our first week opening, we did we did way better than what we thought. We weren't sure if people would come out and about, you know, because restrictions are still what twenty five kilometers or whatever. Yeah. But people did, man. So from like everywhere, the city was like back up and pumping, which is good. Because before that, it was a Ghost town. Sales wise online, um, it, there's like a massive spike. You know, as much as that we had to close the store, close the store for like um, you know, a physical store, um, for all those people, just online it just went up. Like we still had to work pretty much six, um, seven days a week trying to like pack up all the online. Stuff. We had uh, like one of our biggest months, like yeah. during COVID, to be honest. Yeah. Like and actually when COVID like ended, <laughs> they had like one of our <laughs> months. So <it's> like, <laughs> This is like a double whammy, yeah. It's actually pretty good. It's, it's really interesting how um, like the dynamics of business changed because of COVID-19 and stuff. So I'm glad that like like business is all go, going good with uh, like XCW and stuff because uh, you know like a lot of businesses did go out of like yeah. out man. So like, like retail retail wise, like if you have online, that like that just went strong. You know, yeah. a lot of people because a lot of people even though they can't go out, yeah. those people those people who are fortunate that who still be earning. Yeah. They have income coming in and they're itching to spend something and they're just like, you know, 2 a.m. 2 a.m. We're like, you know, cart, 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 cart. Or, shout out to JobSaker, you the real MVP. <laughs> true, true. Yeah, man, so, well, it's kind of like the rise and fall of like online um, shopping and stuff. So if you didn't have an online presence, you're pretty much almost wiped out uh, depending on what kind of business you had, so. Yeah, that's, that's very true, much that's very true. So, yeah. We're just lucky we cater to the demographic, like the internet age demographic. If you're like a retail store, that, you know what I mean? It's for older people, you're f***ing. Hey. 
Really? And stop swearing on my board, man. So, what's up, Ryan? How did you feel about today? Well, it was uh, very exciting to see the secret sneaker shop as well as Kicks TW, which I think by far was the best. Spoilers alert if you didn't already know, Kicks TW was the best store. So, yeah, definitely check him out. They hooked us up with these stickers actually. So, uh, Kuya Chris, we appreciate you, bro. And who was the other guy, Matt? Yeah. You're, you're a real one, bro. There are some other stores that we could have went to. Um, there's supply store, uh, subtype store as well. I think there was a, a number of other ones as well, but like we're on a little, little bit of a limited time limit so that we, we couldn't go to anywhere. But we've been to those kind of stores before. I know subtype store is definitely a really good one. They have online, I always check them out because they have really good uh, ACG releases, just like up their store, which was closed unfortunately. But yeah, so there's a lot of other really good stores out there to go and finish. Uh, we didn't go to JD Sports because obviously that's one of the major ones that like that's pretty much everywhere anyway. I know we went to Foot Locker, but Foot Locker people are always nice, <laughs> so we went there as well. So let me know what you guys think about the actual um, uh, like different kind of stores that you can go to now, especially uh, after COVID, because there are some stores that are still closed as you can, you can imagine, but. That's only just the reality of how things are at the moment. Eventually, everything will open up, and uh, yeah, hopefully everything gets better. But definitely, um, I've got, I'm a little bit biased with, with KCW, obviously, because uh, I've done a number of videos with them before, and they do have a pretty spectacular like range to offer. So definitely go check them out. Go check out all the other stores as well, Secret Sneaker Store, all the other places as well. I know that they, we, did, we did get to go to Underrated, uh, Melbourne.com, uh, Melbourne Underrated because they're out in Docklands. But yeah, you can go check them out as well. But yeah, that's all the kind of uh, content I got for you guys today. If you did like it, please give me a big thumbs up. If you like content in general, please consider subscribing to the channel. Anyway, guys, thank you once again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.